Legend of Charisma by Olivia Fox Coben If you lack charisma, life may be frustrating, you'll be able to be an excellent employee and produce great work, but if you lack charisma, you're likely to be a colleague with even as much charisma. Get a promotion before you are doing this if you've got an excellent business idea but lack charisma, you will find it nearly impossible to induce financing for your business well done. As a more charismatic entrepreneur who features a worse idea will have investors play her door. If you lack charisma, you just must calm down. On a lifetime of few opportunities or if you take a look at Steve Jobs' early presentations, you may notice that he wasn't as charismatic as he was later in his life in his initial presentations. He was shy and a touch shy within the years after those initial presentations. Steve Jobs learned how being a more charismatic author Olivia Fox Cobain has spent her life studying and teaching charisma that proved to be a hat like Steve Jobs. You'll be able to develop your charisma by training on the idea that charisma are a few things you've got in fact is mythical charisma isn't charisma at present it's a skill you'll develop but before gaining the charisma skill you wish to define charisma exactly does one know a charismatic person once you meet him who seems to own a magnetic quality that pulls you to him when he walks into an area you notice him when he speaks. Hear him and when posing for a favor you yearn for help us do these items naturally because charismatic people have found some way to convey three positive qualities simultaneously. These qualities are the heat of strength and presence. You see the heat of strength and presence within the late Steve Jobs within the late theologist King and in Oprah Winfrey it's rare the mixture of the heat of strength and presence that creates these people's personalities medicinal. But these people not only convey the heat of strength and existence. They are doing so in a very way that seems easy and natural. So how are you able to end that I learned to impart these three qualities? And our charismatic author Olivia Fox Coben found that the most effective the simplest way to naturally convey the heat of strength and presence is to place yourself within the right mental states before social interactions Olympic athletes have shown is one in all the four most effective ways to place yourself within the right place. Putting yourself within the right status is making perceptions if we will play the correct perception in our minds before every social interaction our visual communication will naturally adapt to those perceptions because we believe the body believes that what the mind sees is real. Then correct perceptions before a social interaction can stimulate feelings of power. And therefore the warmth and presence in our bodies which will then be conveyed to the people where approval here are three effective visualizations for transmitting more of the heat of power and being first the ability of perception that I heard before about the strength of the facility position is that the act of adopting an edge like Usain Bolt at the line with 100 lashes along with his hands raised above his head or a force pose is placing your hands on your hips and pretending like Superman the goal of strength pose is to expand your body and occupy more room after you adopt a strength posture, you create an interesting hormonal effect in your body. A recent study from university found that adopting a strength posture and taking over more room reduces hormones related to anxiety by 25% and offers the outward appearance of balance and confidence, but with stickiness. Putting strength before a social interaction or forcing yourself to expand your body during social interaction is liberating. To some extent, it's usually best to create a visualization that naturally relaxes your body, expands and conveys a way of power in a clever way. One great visualization for do that to determine yourself walking in a very room or on stage sort of a big gorilla if you're an enormous gorilla you're taking up plenty of space once you enter an area that needs it people de move out of your things to make space for you if you're a giant gorilla. You're a territorial animal and you would like to square up and fly your chest and hit it with fists. I found myself imagining myself walking within the room sort of a big gorilla is simply what I want to alleviate stress my shoulders open my posture and stand tall, all of which conveys a way of strength to others besides the perception of heat after you give some thought to warmth, consider the great intentions that a mother has towards her children. The mother always sees the most effective in her children and assumes they're going to be dedicated people to form this mother-like energy. What you wish aside from imagine that each person you meet has angel wings why does every angel need to perform a series of fine deeds in their lives to become an angel? 
and this implies that everybody you meet has done an honest deed worth making him an angel, so maybe their good deed was to avoid wasting a toddler from a fireplace or carry a dying parent after you meet someone with angel wings. You're intrigued by his dramatic background. You're interested by the great deeds they need exhausted life and you assume that they're an honest person and that they all naturally convey a way of heat and at last a perception of an expression of existence after you convey a way of presence. To form people feel as if they're enjoying your full attention. This effect is extremely difficult because our minds like wandering around Harvard Harvard psychologists Daniel Gilbert estimate that just about half the time the typical person spends their mind wandering during social interaction will spend a minimum of half the time. Our time to consider what we're visiting say next or about a difficulty outside of conversation. An excellent thanks to stop your mind wandering and convey your attention back to the current moment is to target the feeling in your body, back within the time once you finger your toe. It absolutely was difficult to consider anything apart from the pain in your toe that you simply were experiencing at that moment. Any sensation in our body that happens within the nowadays if we simply specialize in that sensation, it brings our attention back to the current moment. But you do not have to move your toe to redirect your attention back to the instant of press, you just must take a second to notify any feeling in your toes it would be the sensation that your toes are touching the bottom or the material of your socks or the only reel of your shoes for an easy to remember visual I really like to imagine my mind moving down my great toe this brain in my toe can detect the slightest sensations in my toes by performing this visualization and that specialize in my toes, I've got noticed that my consciousness moves from the thoughts in my head down through my body and to my toes as soon as I my intention is on my toe. I'm present and may redirect my full attention to the person I'll refer to next, this can naturally convey a way of being, so if you wish to require the primary steps to develop more charisma, start putting yourself within the right status before social interaction imagine that you just are the massive gorilla that you simply enter the area imagine that everybody you meet has angel wings and picture your mind descending to your toes by engaging in these visualizations before social interaction your voice will appear more powerful warm and present all of which is able to cause you to more attractive and this was the most message i gathered from the charismatic legend of olivia fox Coburn. This can be a well thought out book on charisma, if you liked this video please share it thanks for watching.